What's going on, Graveyard Shift family? It is your fearless shift leader, Dalen Spratt, clocked in for another amazing shift. Y'all, it's a lot going on. <laughs> it is a lot going on, man. I just uploaded a video earlier today from a portion of the investigation that I'm uploading this weekend from the Sorrell Weed House. It's nothing but the SLS cam footage from one room that we were in. And we're getting a lot of different feedback, y'all. A lot of y'all feel like the SLS camera was debunked and it was a table or it was a banister on the, uh, the railing of the stairs. Some people think it was spiritual. Look, it's all up to your interpretation. People was like, you're putting too much effort into the SLS camera. Dang, I put the same amount of energy into the SLS as I do the spirit box. I'm not going quick to just debunk it. Normally I do. But the reason why I don't debunk the Sorrell Weed House is because I've been there way too many times. And too many things have happened in every single room. If you've been to Ghost Brothers Weekend, holiday, ha Halloween Weekend in Savannah, Georgia, the past couple years, you've done... Witching hour investigations with us at the Sorrell Weed House. You've done midnight investigations. Everyone knows <laughs> how active the Sorrell Weed House is. So if something popped up on that on the SLS camera, y'all, I ain't gonna lie to you. Eight out of ten times, it might really be something. Now, at the end, the two table legs, that might be the table legs. But those two figures that was seemingly working in the other room, nah. I don't care what nobody say. <laughs> I don't care what you say. <laughs> I came to praise the Lord. You hear me? No. Nah. Those two, to me, and the energy there felt like something. It was there. And we did some more tests that you're going to see in the session. I'm trying to edit the video tonight so it'll be up tomorrow. So you will. so windy. It's so windy right now. So you will see the confluence of evidence. All right. You say that the anomalies on the spirit box, I mean, excuse me, the anomalies on the SLS camera are debunked. Okay. But in that same area, we did the little flashlight test and it start going off. <laughs> like we can't debunk everything that's happened in succession in the same space. <laughs> if, 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 if that's the case, then we just being naive. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm back, y'all. It's windy. It's very windy out here. I have not been back to this area since the night that we thought we saw a dark figure in the corner by Jesus. Remember, Jesus wasn't trying to talk to us that night, but it was literally right here that I felt like I saw a dark figure standing up against this dark wall. He had to be Okay, you see my reflection, right? My reflection stops right here. That figure had to have been up here. That's how tall the figure was with the hood. It looked like, you see my shadow, right? You see my image. It looked like he was, okay, let me put my hood up. It looked just like this. This is exactly what it looked like. I put my hood up. Let me see. It looked like this, just like this. Oh my God, it looked just like this. And he was leaning over like he was leaning, looking at me. This is exactly what I saw. But it was much taller and it didn't have my wife's uh, <laughs> bar logo on the chest. <laughs> but yeah, you could tell the hood. It looked just like a hood, just like this, was hanging over. Crazy. And remember... See? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jesus wasn't talking to us. It's windy, y'all. It ain't even moving. Hey, Zeus, can you give me a spin, buddy? <laughs> Thank you, hey, Zeus. Hey, quick question. Quick question, hey, Zeus. When we were here a couple weeks ago and that dark figure was over there, were you trying to warn us that somebody was here? What's crazy is, y'all, the wind is blowing. The wind is blowing. You see that. The thumb, the pinwheel isn't. Oh, well, now it is. <laughs> okay. Hey, Zeus, 
Was there someone dark here? I'm not going to touch the pinwheel. The wind just blew it and repositioned it. I'm not going to touch it. Okay. Hey, Zeus, I need you to reset it now. Because people going to think it's just that that's the wind. We know it's windy. The balloon is going consist to consistently move. Oh, wow. I'm going to let you settle. I'm going to let it settle. All right. Now, hey, Zeus, this is what I need to know, man. It seemed like there was a dark, dark figure hanging around this area. Is that something that is typical? Does that dark... Can you stop the pinwheel for me? The wind is still blowing. Y'all see the balloon moving. Y'all see the balloon moving. Thank you. That's just the wind. Okay, maybe. But why does the balloon move in, but the pinwheel isn't? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to cut the spirit box on. Let's see if Jesus can talk to us. Hey, Zeus, man, do you mind talking to us verbally? Can I get a good spin, if you will? You know, Jesus don't like talking to us. He likes spinning a spin wheel. That's just the win. The way that I look at this, if the balloon is moving, but the pinwheel isn't, that makes me kind of question it. But if both of them are going at the same time, I think it's just a strong gust of wind. But if it starts and stops on command, that also makes me think that it could be someone. Like, watch this. Hey, Zeus, can you give me one good spin? Thank you. And he literally gave. <laughs> like, uh, I love, I love messing with Jesus. What do y'all think? If you think it's the wind, put wind. If you think it's Jesus trying to come through with the wind, put Jesus. Let me get the spirit box. Family, it is a very windy day right now. So the wind is picking up. So I hope it's not too loud too windy hey i need y'all to do me a favor i'm calling all of my psychics mediums largest <laughs> intuitives whatever your secret power may be i'm calling you y'all i lost my car keys i'm driving stacy's car because i lost my car keys but my car is at home so that means my car keys must be at home somewhere I need y'all superpowers, or at least I need y'all to think like a two-year-old. Because <laughs> I cannot buy my keys, y'all. So please, use your, tap into your abilities. <laughs> I know it's somebody out there <laughs> that can see what my keys are. Please, please put it in the comment section. I am so serious. <laughs> y'all know I'm desperate. I'm calling on <laughs> the shifter psychic powers. <laughs> Shifters unite and find Dalen's keys. Ooh, Power Rangers. All right, y'all. So I just want to ask a few questions about the dark figure that I saw. And I just want to know if I really saw that or if, I, if my, my, my mind was playing tricks on me. Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy, Dalen. What's up, Jesus? How you feeling today, brother? Please. 
He don't think. I'm. Hey Zeus, quick question, buddy. Was there some? Was there a dark spirit out here the other night when I was here? Yeah. Whoa. Say yeah. Okay. Does that dark figure hang out around here often? It got really, really intense. <laughs> really quickly. Okay, is that dark figure, does he hang around here often? It's just... <laughs> What made him show up that night? That's an official. He's figuring it out. Wow. Okay, was the dark figure here for me, or is this just where he, where he stays? Was that dark figure here for me? Is that dark figure always here? Is that dark figure bad? Should I be concerned about what I saw? So we all like you. Most of y'all. <laughs> well, who who are the few that don't like me? Do you tell me the name of the dark figure that I saw? Purpose of that spirit showing himself. <laughs> hey Zeus, were you trying to protect me from that dark figure? <laughs> Were you afraid of the dark figure, Jesus? You said, I see you. Had you seen him before? Say, <laughs> 
Yeah. No, I could. Does he do bad things? Yeah. Yeah. Long time. Long time. Hey, Zeus, can you move the pinwheel one more time while I'm talking to you? If you want to just do it a little bit? Yes, All right, look, hey, Zeus. Can you match your voice with the movement of the pinwheel? So I'm going to ask you, can you move the pinwheel? I would love for you to say yes and then immediately move the pinwheel. That way I know both devices. You're communicating with us both ways. So you're not moving. Hey, Zeus. Thank you, hey, Zeus. Hey, Zeus. Really? <laughs> can you stop the pinwheel, please, brother? I know you can stop it even with the wind blowing. Can you show me? Okay. Hey, Zeus, can you speak to me and make the pinwheel move? Can you stop the pinwheel right now? Only this is what's funny. Because I'm trying to really figure out if if if, if I don't know. I don't know. Today could just be a windy day. But we've been out here with no wind and you've been so I know you use the pinwheel all the time to communicate with us. It's just today on a windy day. I'm gonna see if I can trick you. Can you stop it? Oh, you already stopped it. Can you spin it? Can you spin it right now? I'm gonna go with the wind on that one. Can you stop the pinwheel right now? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can you make it go? Uh, and you was already moving. That's my fault. That's my fault, hey <laughs> Zeus. That's my fault. All right, let's reset. Let's reset. Let's reset. I'm going to stop playing. I'm going to stop playing. Is Hakeem around? Please. Well, Hakeem, man, I just want to pay my respects to you, brother. Tell you what I'm about you. Now back to this dark figure. Did I bring the dark figure from another resting community here? No. Is there something dark attached to me? No. Am I covered and protected? Speed up. Can you speed up the pinwheel, Hazel? Can you stop it? Never stop. Yeah, if you would have stopped it when you said stop, we would have been on to something. 
it is a very windy day. But yeah, guys, I'm just curious. Like, I wonder if because I don't feel like anything is following me. But I wonder what was that seven, eight foot figure dark hooded. Like, I don't feel like it was the Grim Reaper. Somebody asked, what's the Grim Reaper? The Grim Reaper is like, you know, it's like the spirit of death. The one that comes and ushers you away. But I don't, I didn't get that. Like, I felt like that was something like, like a watcher. Is there a such, I'm trying to let the wind blow down so I can go through the session a little bit. But is there a watcher? I don't want to say that works here, but like, is there a watcher responsible for this resting community? Said he should. So that dark figure is more of a protective figure? Okay. Y'all gonna go sit in the car for a second. It's get out of the the wind. Hey Sus, brother, I'm gonna come catch you on a less windy day. All right, y'all. It is so much more quiet. Uh oh, slap, slap. Slap Recon, I got your t-shirt on, brother. Shout out to my partner, Slap, in the shifting community. Yeah, now we're out the the, the um, wind. Put my window down a little bit. So the spirits can hear us. <laughs> Now, I would like to get down to the bottom of this dark figure. Is that figure still in this resting community? You said you're worried? There's Walter. I'm not worried, but I'm curious. Is that the good kind? So, okay. So, just because he's a dark figure, does that not... Can you be a good dark figure, is the question. Because people always associate these dark presents with something bad. Which is kind of spiritually racist. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> but no, seriously though, that big dark figure, could they potentially be a good spirit? We have is it wrong to think that every big dark spirit is evil? Can you see the light around me that's protecting me? Say we do? Somebody said not really. <laughs> Said I'm innocent. Cool. We move it. 
Is there anything that I could do that could make me cross that line where I'm not protected anymore? Like, should I avoid certain places or things to keep myself safe? So how do I keep myself surrounded by this light? How do you feel about this community that we've created, the Graveyard Shift family? I say good. <laughs> Incredibly. Why do you like us so much? Says a distraction. So I guess I mean it is a distraction from the day to day routine that you may have. Simpler. Simpler. Is there anything that we can do to make your experience better? So you're doing great? Do you think other people resting in other states would want some shifters to come talk to them? Say yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you've heard it there, people. I'm sure there are some spirits in your local community that are yearning for some conversation. Let's get some more remote shifters out. Let's get some more remote shifters out, y'all. Let's get some more shifting going. I'm probably going to start posting the remote shifters early in the day. So you have all day to watch those. And then, um, yeah, I'll continue to post my videos in the evening. So some days you might get two. Some days you might get two, but that way you'll always know when it's a remote shifter versus when it's me shifting. Mine will be in the evening. They'll get the early time slot. So, yeah, y'all, let's talk about it. Let's get some more remote shifters out there. I've seen some of y'all been posting y'all videos in the Facebook group and they have been fired. Y'all try to take my job. <laughs> I see it. I see it. I fire everybody before that happened. <laughs> It'll be just me working here. No, I'm just playing. I love to see it. I love to see it. Y'all, I got to get to editing. I'm going to go edit this, uh, finish editing the Sorrel Weed House video. Because y'all done made me mad with this SLS camera, man. Trying to debunk my work. No, please do. Keep trying to debunk. Again, I'm not claiming anything is anything. But I just want you to open your mind to consider it. To consider it. Like, we can't, we can debunk everything. And we should lead with debunking. But we should also be open to the possibilities of maybe, of just maybe. So I don't put anything past it. When people are like, I don't like the SLS camera. Well, yeah, man, I ain't like the spirit box either at first, but that don't mean it don't work. <laughs> so the SLS camera is hit or miss, y'all. But I guess you just have to marry it with what else is going on in the environment. I'm excited for y'all to see this video, man. I'm going to go finish editing the Sorrel Weed House video. The plan is for it to come out tomorrow. That's the plan. That's the plan. It's either going to be a long video or it's going to be a two-parter. So it's either going to be an hour and an hour or it's going to be like an hour and 50, two-hour long video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how it flows once I piece it together. But Y'all, we finna get up out of here. Thank y'all for clocking in with me today. I just really curious about this dark figure and I just want to make sure that we are still protected because it seems like we've had some pretty interesting run ins as of late. But that's to be expected with what we do. Everybody everywhere ain't good. We back in town now, baby. 
So, once I find my car keys, this week, I'm, I want to do a lot of night sessions. I've been Googling cemeteries that are 24 hours. So, I'm thinking about starting Monday and going to one at night and driving through, having a camera so y'all can see the cemetery at night. And we'll probably do the spirit box sessions from the safety of our vehicle. But we'll be in the deep in the cemetery with the windows down at night. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're going to do a couple times this week. We're probably going to do it live. So y'all get ready for that. Love, love, love. And if you're in New York, check out my wife's bar, Harlem Hops, conveniently located in Harlem and in Chelsea. Love, love, love. See you tomorrow. Go tell me my SLS camera footage is debunked. You a debunker. <laughs> you're a dirty debunker. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I love y'all.